This video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be inspecting and discussing and trying to figure out how things work and what works and what doesn't work on the 1947 Ford. I believe it's an F9 with an attached Inslee crane. Uh, probably break this into several smaller videos and take you along as we just talk about it, look at it, and try to figure it out. And then later videos will probably have us moving it around, operating it, and hopefully getting it out of here and saving it from the scrappers. Well, you can see pretty much everything's intact in here. The uh, coil's not hooked well. The old coil's not hooked up. The new coil is, I guess. And uh, it actually all looks pretty good. Uh, water pipe has a little corrosion there. But the engine doesn't want to rotate. Oh, and it is full of coolant. And it is coolant, it's green. So that's kind of basic tour of the engine compartment. <clears throat> Interior is pretty good too. Got your basic gauges, switches, starter button, uh, turn signal. That doesn't really work right now. Uh, vacuum brakes, I assume, for the trailer. Uh, your basic shifter and your auxiliary shifter, your brownie box there. And there's the brownie down underneath. And coming along here, chain boxes or the chains. And there should be an oiler there going around to the other side. This side still has the oiler box on it. So we need to duplicate that if we're going to run it around very much. Oh, here's some nifty Inslee tags too. To do. Well, for those of you that think Pete only knows how to use a hammer and a vice grips, there are a few others that do know how to use those and a torch and you know how to use it correctly. Uh, one of them is Iron Man 3406, another good friend of our broadcast. And you can go check out his uh, YouTube channel. The link's up in the corner and it'll be in the description below. Uh, check him out. He has lots of neat stuff and actually knows what he's talking about with the equipment and the repairs that he does. Uh, now back to our regularly scheduled program. You notice there's a beautiful set of rue bars on this truck. She was well before her time. Okay, he took the air cleaner off and now he's gonna mix acetone and some ATF. Oh Pete, you're gonna ruin the paint. Damn. This is his witch's brew to make engines quiver and start. This is the inside of the cab and the engine. <coughs> I guess you pull the seat down and you got all the handles in the front and a bunch of pedals. If you're tired of watching Pete flog the 966 and use everything incorrectly, go on over to SE Films, another good friend of ours, and uh, watch Silas and Eli. There's a couple of young kids that know how to run just about anything, run it properly, and they've got some pretty fun videos showing action, showing uh, some interesting uh, old commercials, and lots of other stuff that's really neat. Go take a look. got new gauges in it too. Yeah, nice gauges. What about all this cable control? Does it need to be lubricated too? Or you no, this all's pretty, break. pretty free. But watch, see the boom? The boom there next to you? Yeah. And you see this handle? Yeah. Watch. Peter, don't do that. That's free. I guess. I don't have much. Uh, I don't have much love of the cable, although it's a pretty thick cable. Yeah, the cable's been out in the weather for a long time. That's right. Be okay. Okay. So now. 
now we need to see if we have spark uh, but we also got to put water in it and the water is down here do you want me to go get water I have water and antifreeze but what I what we will need is a new valve to go in there so I have to go down to the bottom and a valve through the yeah there's a half of a valve that's in there and you'd unscrew that and uh, then we'll go buy one for those of you getting tired of watching Pete using the 966 like a 16 pound sledgehammer, go over to our friend Squatch256's channel and uh, take a look at his uh, more proper, correct, uh, well thought out, well laid out, well planned repairs, well documented. Uh, the only thing missing is the white lab coats from the Caterpillar uh, repairs manual. So go take a look. Um, he has a very good channel and is a good friend of our, of our channel. Now it's flashing. The new Look, battery, the old battery. Here's a shorty sledgehammer. Oh. <laughs> That's where we get real desperate. <laughs> yeah. I guess he's got to have more tools now. Both sides, do they have a stub axle? Because Look. both, there's chain drive on both yeah. sides. The shorty sledgehammer is handy for short attitude adjustments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it just, it doesn't, it has axles, but they just run like a regular, you know, an undriven wheel, like a front oh. wheel. Oh. So it has axles, but they're... Well, what's the chain for then? The chain is driving it. The chain's what drives the wheel. Well, that's what I thought, but... Yeah, and so the axle's just got a bearing, and it's just holding the weight of the truck up. And the chain is actually driving it, not the axle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, there's two forces on either side of the trailer. Well, no, the chain's there. wrapped around the brake drum and yeah. spins the brake drum, spins the wheels. I wanted to show you a picture of where this crane came from. That's the cement plant, and it worked its whole life over there in the cement plant. And that, that guy used to take care of their equipment, and that's how he got all these. When they sold them, he'd bring them, bring them to his home here. And for right now, <coughs> I'm just... Uh, trying to free stuff up in here. I'm going to spray blaster all around on the carburetor and the linkages and the, the fuel line and all that. Yeah, nice gauges. Okay. Well, that was much easier than I expected. 
One of the regular participants in our adventures is uh, Riley Dog 362, my good friend Tom. And he's always got something fun going on, whether it involves trains, traffic signals, railroad signals, tractors, trucks. Uh, he's interested in anything that is, uh, uh, makes noise and involves transportation yeah, and like equipment and that kind of thing. Weather, so. so go on over to his channel and check out his stuff. It's always fun. It's just a little Three slice right of life, whatever he happens to be doing that day, I riding his horse Cody or whatever. So uh, go over and enjoy his channel and then come back and enjoy ours. Yeah, that's from the, that pony tank. Oh, I actually, you probably smell the blaster more, more than the gas. Huh? You probably smell the blaster more than the gas, I would think. Uh-oh. Full antifreeze. I don't want to lose that. There's no antifreeze? No, it's full of it. Oh. I don't want to lose that. I thought the valve was open and it was drained, but it's not. It's even better. Well, close it back up. Are you still doing it out? No, the valve's off. The valve is in pieces, but it's, it's either plugged up or something because it's holding the antifreeze in there, so we don't care. We'll just yeah, run well, it that way. Heavy, heavy duty for that. All right. I guess the next step is hook up the battery and see what happens. Magnetic on the bottom. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, good so far. It doesn't sound like it really has any compression. No. But that's not a surprise. The valves may all be stuck out or something. But it's not binding, it's cranking. Let's see if it makes any sparks. Well, in this video here and continuing episode two with the rest of the electrical exploration and uh, cranking and, and assessing and everything else. Yeah. <laughs>